my god, the sky has just exploded. So I had all these ideas of talking to you about seascape photography and taking some nice pictures, which I have done. Unfortunately, I wasn't paying attention and I've now been cut off by the tide. Really, I'm gonna have to get myself onto some dry land. <laughs> Oh, it's coming in quick. A warning to you all doing seascape photography. Pay attention to the tide and what the water is doing. All right. So over there is the rock that I was stood on whilst taking a lovely image, um, which I will talk about. Uh, but I, I just can't believe how fast the tide came in. Um, almost like a river, just a surge of water. I was taking a two minute exposure, so I really wasn't paying attention to what was happening around me. I was concentrating on my camera, um, thinking about what I was gonna do next, thinking about what I was gonna say to you and how I was gonna film the whole piece to make it work. Um, and then before I knew it, I turned around and there's no land. Just completely, completely cut off by the tide. Um, but I'm all right now. Made it back to dry land. beauty of seascape photography is that you don't necessarily need the best conditions. Actually, let me free rephrase that. Um, it's quite difficult to get bad conditions. Um, yes, this morning I didn't get that burning red sunrise that I hoped for, um, but that's fine. What I did get was some nice interest in the sky, some lovely shapes in the rock, and the incoming tide formed a fantastic composition for me because as I was hunting around for a photograph this morning, um, I was a bit disappointed, I couldn't really find anything immediately. Um, nothing was coming to mind, but as the tide came in, ch it changed the entire landscape, revealing new compositions that were not there half an hour ago. And one of those compositions is the very composition I photographed this morning. Lovely rocks leading out into the fantastic flat, calm sea. Now I used a six-stop polar... Uh, not a six-stop polarizer. I used a, a polarizer, but I used a six-stop ND filter to give me a two-minute exposure, which just took the edge off any movement in the water. Um, and it also gave me some lovely motion in the sky, um, all creating a rather lovely image. Wet rocks have a fantastic reflective quality. Um, so coming down to the beach in the morning, as the tide's going out or as it's coming in and washing over the rocks, that is a great time to take some photographs. Absolutely fantastic. Now I don't do seascapes enough, so I'm going to concentrate on the coastline for the next couple of days and see what images I can come up with. Um, lessons learned from this morning, watch out for the incoming tide, um, and hopefully the next image of mine will be accompanied by a better video. Um, but I am happy with the photograph I got this morning, really happy. Um, I think it's a lovely, simple image with nice shapes, nice form, nice detail, nice texture, and nice everything that you can expect from coming to the coast with your camera. got a bright burning orange sky more than an hour before sunrise you know you're in for a good morning so I woke up early and the first thing I did was check my phone and check my app 
and I knew, I knew that today was going to be better than yesterday just by the positioning of the clouds. So I'm very excited. I've come back to the same beach I was at yesterday. I'm a little bit further north along the beach. The tide's a bit lower and this is going to be great. I'm really looking forward to this, really looking forward to finding a composition. Okay, I'm going to very quickly talk about my composition, what I'm thinking, that kind of thing. With this image, with this particular composition I have now, um, there's two elements that I'm really trying to get across to the person who may be looking at this photograph. One is that out of obviously, obviously the, the amazing sunrise, it's absolutely phenomenal. Um, and number two is the environment. No, so I'm not, um, I'm not focusing specifically on one item like a, a rock or a piece of driftwood or the edge of the water or anything like that. I'm trying to get across the environment of this beach, which is absolutely phenomenal at low tide because it exposes all of the lovely wet rock and the tidal pools and the seaweed. Um, and that's what I've got in my composition. We've got a fantastic tidal pool which leads the eye out to the gorgeous, gorgeous sunrise. Um, and it's just a lovely picture. And I hope that when the viewer looks at the image, it feels like they're there. They feel a bit cold or they feel the, perhaps the warmth of the sunrise because it is a bit misleading. It's freezing, <laughs> but it looks lovely and warm. Um, so that's what I'm thinking. Um, so I'm not massively concerned with getting a clean, you know, a clean, foreground like a simple image no distractions or anything like that actually what I want is lots for the viewer to look at and to walk into does that make sense I hope that I hope that makes sense and I hope that's coming across right my composition go and have a look so that's my composition there absolutely lovely tidal pool taking you to that gorgeous gorgeous sky absolutely stunning the slow day, the calm and the night will unfold I never thought that I would be travelling this road and People keep missing, the clouds seem to fade And every occasion I whisper your name talk about technicalities um, you can see here I have a two-stop hard edge graduated filter I'll probably up that upgrade that to a three stop soon as the Sun starts to rise um, and the sky becomes a lot brighter I also have my polarizer on I'm not fully polarizing the image just a touch because um, we really don't want to lose any lovely reflections that we're getting. Yeah, it's just phenomenal. I've changed my f-stop to f11, giving me a nice sharp image. I'm focused to infinity, 15 seconds, two-stop, ND graduated filter. Happy with the composition. I feel no need to go running around looking for anything better. Um, this has all the elements that I'm after. Here we go. absolutely stunning the reflective quality of wet rocks with a sky like this is just fantastic absolutely stunning really happy with this my god the sky has just exploded this is crazy I, I honestly I don't know why I knew I knew I should have known I knew well yeah the sky just exploded and I should have known that this was going to happen. I don't know why I thought that I'd had the best of it like half an hour before sunrise. That's ridiculous. I've upgraded to a three-stop hard edge filter because this is crazy. All right, let's get this. Let's get this. This is insane. Absolutely insane. There we go. I'm dropping the filter in. Oh, the reflections in the rock pool are just out of this world right let me take an exposure f11 eight seconds polarizer three stop hard edge phenomenal colors that are going to go like that oh yes it looks hdr it looks like an hdr image it's not it's just the quality of light and the quality of the reflection the reflections off the wet seaweed absolutely magic ah well worth getting up in the morning
Considering how poor yesterday was, it just goes to show that you should never be put off because you have a bad day. Always return. Amazing.